So what we're going to do is go over a problem like this, uh, where we will use a tool such as Excel to help with some of the computations. So let's look at the problem. The assets and billions of dollars of the four wealthiest people in a particular country are given as follows, 45, 35, 18, and 15. And assume that samples of size n equals 2 are randomly selected with replacement for this population of four values. So let's go ahead and uh, just use Excel to see uh, how we can work through this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and figure out the mean for the population. So our population is just going to uh, consist of these four values. So 45, 35, 18, and 15. If I want to go ahead and find the mean of these values, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit equal to get a formula. And while in statistics this is the mean, in Excel we're gonna go ahead and just use average. So I'm gonna type the word average, I'm gonna type in open parentheses and then select those cells and that will compute the average. So we see the average for the population of 45, 35, 12, or excuse me, 45, 35, 18, and 15 is uh, 28.25. So this is the population mean. Now, we want, we're asked to go ahead and construct a sampling distribution. Um, so what we're gonna need to do is we are gonna need to find all samples of size two. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is the first, the first uh, column I'm gonna make here is just going to be uh, the first part of the sample and then I am going to make the second part of the sample in this second column here. So 45 could be paired with 45. 45 could also be paired with 35. 45 can be paired with 18. And then 45 can be paired with 15. So this is a little bit tedious, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just type 35. And then if you drag this little uh, dot down four cells, it'll copy that. And then 18, I'm gonna go ahead and do four cells like that. And then 15, I'm gonna do four cells in the same way. And then this pattern will repeat for the other numbers. So I'm gonna just copy that and then I will paste it. So you could paste it just by right clicking and uh, selecting that option. So right here I have all of my samples of size two. So what I'm now going to do in this third column is find the sample means for each sample. So I'm gonna type equal and then open parentheses and I'm gonna select these two cells. And of course the mean of 45 and 45 is 45. What I am now gonna go ahead and do is drag this down and it'll drag that formula down to all of these cells. So you can see the mean of 45 and 35 is 40 and this occurred for all of them. So what we can now do is we can just count those up and figure out the probability. So for example, 45 only occurs once. So that's just going to be one out of the uh, 16 samples. And we can go through this for all of the remaining data. Now, since we're talking about sampling distributions, we're gonna be considering, okay, is this going to be a biased or unbiased estimator. A sample mean is an unbiased estimator. And what that means, when I take the average or the mean of the sample means, it will be the same as the population mean. So you can see that right here. This is the mean of the sample means. And that will go ahead and give you the, uh, the proof that's the unbiased estimator. As a side note, we could go ahead and uh, also do this with several other statistics. Another difficult one to compute would be the variance. So since we are looking at the variance of a sample, if I start typing the word var, you'll have a couple options right here. So var s is going to estimate variance based on the sample. So I'm gonna do var.s, open parentheses, and just like before, I'm gonna select the two cells. And the variance of 45 and 45 is indeed zero because they're the same number. And then you go ahead and uh, drag that down and you'll get sim similar computations. 
And then if we go ahead and hit equal, I am going to find the average of my sample variances. That is 151.6875. Now this is also an unbiased estimator, the mean of the sample variances is 151 and since this is an unbiased estimator it should target whatever the population mean uh, population variance is so let's go ahead and figure that out so i'm going to go ahead and find the variance uh, of the population so v dot uh, p and open parentheses i'm going to select these and you can see it is the same in this right here, of course, is as I said, this is the population variance. You could go ahead and repeat this proper, uh, oh, this is sample uh, variance right here. Uh, you could go ahead and repeat this with different functions. So for example, we have a range um, function. Well, we actually don't have a range function, but you could go ahead and just um, do something like the maximum of these two values and then you could subtract from it the minimum of these two values. Um, let's go ahead and select that again. And you can see that'll give you the range. So we have the sample range. And if we were to go ahead and find the um, mean of the sample ranges. So I'm going to go ahead and average my sample ranges. Uh, and what I find is the mean of the sample range ranges. And the range is a bias estimator. So when I consider the actual range of the population, it's pretty easy to compute that just manually. The uh, range of the population, the maximum is 45, the minimum is 15. So the range is gonna be 30. And you can see that that is different than the mean of the sample ranges, which makes sense since the range is a biased estimator. So again, play with this a little bit yourself. Excel is a very powerful tool that'll allow you to work with several problems. Um, uh, and understand them without getting too bogged down in the computations. Good luck.